So today I'm gonna give you a few tips on warming up physically, getting your body ready to go, technically getting your touch sharp, and also mentally getting yourself in the right state of mind so you can give a great performance. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. you also want to think about drinking water now obviously your hydration should start before the game it should start as part of your whole lifestyle every day you want to think about drinking lots of water especially as an athlete but especially on game day make sure that before you show up your pee is clear but during your warm-up especially on a very hot day you want to think about getting water now you don't want to be taking massive gulps so you're running around with a big puddle of water in your stomach but just take little sips throughout the warm-up and especially, as I said, on a hot day, if you're sweating more, you're gonna have to drink more. Next, we're gonna move into technical warm up. So this is just about getting lots of touches on the ball, sharpening up your touch. So when you're in the game, you're not worried about the quality of your first touch or how you're gonna feel dribbling with the ball at top speed.
you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. The last thing I'm going to talk about in this personal warm-up is your mental preparation, your mental warm-up. However, this is something that should be going on the whole time. As I said, the first second that you get there and it's time to warm up, you're getting mentally focused. But throughout that whole process, you're gonna be thinking about the game. And a lot of people at this point, they psych themselves out or they let their nerves overcome them. This is where you need to start controlling your nerves. So talk positively to yourself. Those little thoughts in your mind, you need to control them. Be aware of them, be aware of the negative ones that pop up and reframe them in a positive way. Create a game plan for yourself. So a lot of people, when they're going onto the field, they have no plan. They're just saying, hey, I'm gonna play, I hope I play well. Well, can you give yourself a few things to focus on to ensure that you have the confidence or you feel like you actually know what you should be doing when you're on the field? So it's gonna be different for every position, but I want you to create yourself a little game plan. For example, in the first five minutes, I'm gonna play really simple. I'm gonna focus on the quality of my first touch and put extra pace on my passes to make sure that it gets to my teammate. If there's any opportunity for a cross to come in the box, I'm gonna sprint as hard as I can to get there. If my opponent has the ball, I'm gonna press him quickly. So create these little game plans, these little tasks that you can do for yourself, and you're gonna give yourself a better chance of performing well when you're in the game. This personal warm-up isn't something that's meant to take a long time. It should be short, effective, but give you a little advantage over everyone else. So you're gonna do your personal warm-up, but then you're gonna do your team warm-up. And when you're warming up, obviously have that same mentality. Yes, you're here to have fun. You're here to play the game that you love, but get serious about preparing yourself for the game ahead. When you're doing your warm up, all I'm gonna say is, yes, you wanna be sharp with your movement. You wanna put in that effort, but think about preserving your energy for the game. So the purpose of the warm up is not to exhaust yourself. It's not to gain fitness. It's not to get any added improvement. It's just to get prepared, to get warm. So. Push yourself, do those little sprints, changes of direction. Yes, get your muscles and your legs moving, but think about preserving energy for the game ahead. Finally, just enjoy the opportunity in front of you. You're playing the game that you love, as I said before, so get out there and make the most of this. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy.